got a call for a Chevy truck that is stuck out here to Sand Hollow. I think he drove down by the lake, kind of got stuck in some mud, so we're going to head down there and see if we can get him out. Got a light crew today. Hefe is going to be helping. I don't know if he's going to be helping with the recovery or swinging a camera. Probably a little bit of both. I, they're having some sort of event here. It might be the UTV takeover. We can't get into Sand Hall of the normal way unless we want to be in bumper to bumper traffic. So we're sneaking in the back way. How's it going? Good. Yeah, it's like almost touching the frame. My uh, diff is on the ground, like barely on the mud, you know? Yeah, the front diff is probably barely. Holy crap, that's some bad mud. Yeah, we're trying to find a place to build sandcastles. And then, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it was busy. It was, you know, oh, yeah. It was busy, so I was like, oh, I'll just go look around. I've never been here. I'm not. So when you see reeds, you never take a truck like yeah. this on this side of the reeds. reeds. All right. You're not the only one. <laughs> Somebody else came in here too and got stuck. What do you think, Brad? Do you remember Brad from the Rubicon trip? That guy. Beautiful sunset. Oh, man. A little wet right there. This ain't looking good. It's just that right tire. But who knows? I think you gotta rip it, but not dig it. Not spin the tires like crazy and get up on top of it. Okay, hold on. Let's make sure we're doing this right. That's just super soft over there. Um, if we go backwards, like this is pretty, this is good right here. If we went backwards. And you could go more that way. I don't know what I was thinking. I'll just go over, I'll just go right through there. So do you wanna move that yeah. back up there? It's very deceiving. It looks all nice and dry, but everything underneath it's just so Yeah. Pumped. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's way drier right there. <laughs> We're gonna need this to hook the two in one of these when they've when they've done this oh maybe once maybe once maybe once were you being recovered or were you helping out i've never had mass recovery yet <laughs> i almost yep. had a few minutes ago but i remember he does, myself he does his own he does his own recovery yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. the water yeah dry huh? wet yeah. that's just that's almost all water look at that. it's mushy down there yeah that's the water level about there probably too so i had my tires aired up to 20 pounds to drive 60 miles out to mount carmel today there's a car show out there we came straight from that to this so that's why we're letting air out It just sounds like it's in water. <laughs> okay. I'll just, this time I'll try to work the tires and see if we can do something. We're just down, like we're below the water table there. I know, it's just a bush under there. Okay, we'll just keep going. I'll, I'll just do medium folds and try to get a footer. Six inches to a foot every time. 
It's moving, but it like starts to pop up and then it goes back down. I've got a winch on the front of there. And if I did winch, an anchor. winch plus just pulling. Give me like 10 minutes or five minutes, I'll grab my truck. Yeah. Cause it's, it's a good anchor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like it got worse. You just get below that water table and you're just, it's just mucky mess. Like it gets, it starts to go up and then it just sinks. It just sucks it right back down If in. he had less throttle, would it be different? Mm, he didn't have very much throttle. Okay. Well, we're gonna get his truck and anchor it right there. And we'll use my winch and we'll just pull. Okay. Thanks guys, I appreciate it. No problem. Hopefully we can get it out before it gets too dark. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna rig this up, hopefully. Matt loves winches. Yeah, they're a lot of work. <laughs> this is gonna be something. <laughs> gonna get dark on this. Yeah. sand hollow with your jeep like if you go all the way to the end and then drive back along the bank we're like 400 yards from the very end okay all right thanks so i'm heading to sand hollow right now and i am going to assist them in whatever way i can You're front it. We probably need another ten feet, Matt. Yeah, the back axle's all the way up and on. Get the rigs out of the way because I think you're gonna want to go right out there. Same way. Yeah. <laughs> go, get it. go get it. Go get it. How deep is it? Where's your sandal? It's here. I got it. <laughs> you didn't lose your sandal? <laughs> no, I, I I wanted to see how how low he was. How low was it? <laughs> it's pretty. <laughs> it's this low. <laughs> That's gonna be fun cleaning out. So are you heading to the car wash after this? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure how good this is gonna be. Well, that's a lot of bucks. Gosh. <laughs> Look at the camera. <laughs> well, hey, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Yeah. Really do. Yeah, no problem. Um, there you go. Matt's off road recovery. All right. We'll, we'll get him out. I'll never forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. So that one was pretty tough. We had to call Rudy in to get it finished, but we got it and customer is on his way. Rudy's Jeep worked really good to suck the rear end of that truck out of that mud and get it up on the hard pack. So it went really well. Does it look like a side by side? That's a mini man, isn't it? I don't know. No, that's a Subaru. Uh, there's no way he's making it out of that. No, I just need to get past it. 
You're trying to back back out? We're trying. We're just trying to get traction to go this way, but... Uh, you're not going to want to go up that way. That's the worst way? This is the better There's, way? No, you're not going to want to bring that out here anyway. Okay. okay. If you absolutely want to take it out here somewhere, you're going to have to go... I'd go back out through the park and go up water tank, but this is nothing yeah, but yeah. rough stuff. Back through the tunnel then? Yeah. Okay. Is your traction control on? Yeah. Okay, I turn that off and then try. We might have to pull you back out. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, guys. It's doing the weird thing where it won't let it spin or anything. Yeah. You might be able to push him. Yeah, get out. Oh man, you're full. <laughs> okay, let's go forward. Is the parking brake on? No. It's just not moving? Yeah. Is it got is it throwing some sort of a code? It's a newer vehicle thing. Yeah, it's like a safety feature. Matt, we just need to pull him back out. Like he's flooring it and it's not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> so for everybody that's a Subaru fan and they're like, Subarus will drive in your sand. No, they won't. They won't drive in our sand. So what's happened is the computer felt so much weird slipping that it won't put up with that it's just shut the whole system down. So you can't even push on the gas. So you got it in neutral? Yeah, Other way? Yeah. Right there. If you put it in reverse, what does it do? Okay. So, let's, I'm gonna, so put it back in park. I'm going to unhook everything. All right. I guess that's got to be good for tow companies. Right. I'm going to tell them he's got to back out. Okay. There's a Subaru that has to back all the way out, so we just got him unstuck. Yeah, that Subaru's gonna have to go pretty quick through here, so. There's a Subaru that's gonna be coming out this way, so he's gonna have to be going pretty quick. Okay. You guys might want to move out of the way. Thanks, guys. You guys are just gonna have to go right through around that hill pile and down and out but you're going to stay to the right okay. he needs to stay on the gas you're going to need to keep it a little faster keep it a little faster Ow. that's wild we just got to push him over this hill Yeah, they are. Oh man. <laughs> That's crazy. So once, that, once that car doesn't want to go, there's nothing you can do about it. It just shuts down. But it's not just Subarus. It's, it's Toyotas and Fords, Dodge and Chevy. Anything that's, anything that's made very recently does that. They wanted to go further up in there. <laughs> Holy smokes. Well, this was supposed to be the faster way. <laughs> I heard something about mice playing when the boss is away. Yeah. <laughs> What's the phrase for when the boss is playing? Cat's playing. <laughs> so mice better beware. <laughs> so when it was time to leave after that job was done, there was a traffic jam. It was, it's going to take more than an hour to get out of this park. And so we decided to sneak out the same way that we snuck in because we had the same problem coming in. And there was a Subaru. Like blocking traffic. So we had to get that solved. And uh, now we're finally out. There's not going to be any more impedances. We will get home. The phone won't ring. And I will get a full night's sleep. Thanks for watching.